Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel for groundbreaking ideas in math and science. Today, we're diving into a revolutionary concept, virtual numbers. These are not your usual imaginary or complex numbers. We're taking things to a whole new dimension. Let's get started. To understand virtual numbers, let's start with a bit of history. You've probably heard of imaginary numbers, where is defined as the square root of negative 1. They were introduced to solve equations like x squared plus 1 equals 0. While imaginary numbers paved the way for complex numbers and groundbreaking discoveries, they rely heavily on rotations and geometry. Virtual numbers introduce a brand new framework that redefines how we handle negative values and logarithmic functions, all without using complex numbers. So, what are virtual numbers? They are numbers built around the virtual unit j, which is defined as the natural logarithm of negative 1. This means we've moved from squaring negative numbers to exploring their logarithms directly. Let's break this down step by step. First, the key property of j. When you multiply j by itself, the result is zero. This property is called nilpotent. It makes j fundamentally different from i, where multiplying i by itself gives negative one. Next, using the Taylor expansion, we define e to the power of j as one plus j. This keeps things simple and linear, unlike traditional exponentials that involve rotations. In the virtual numbers system, trigonometric functions are also simplified. For instance, sine of j equals j and cosine of j equals 1. These values transform trigonometric expressions into linear terms. Another fascinating property is how virtual numbers handle odd values. If k is an odd number, then k times j equals j. And here's a powerful result. When you raise a number n to the power of j, the result is 1 plus j times the natural logarithm of n. This means that raising any number to the power of j is simplified to this compact form. Let's see virtual numbers in action through applications and calculations. For the exponential function erased to the power of j times x, the result is simple. 1 plus j times x. The square root of j is defined using logarithmic properties. It simplifies into a transcendental equation where the square root of j equals e to the power of the square root of j, divided by e. Now, let's explore the zeta virtual function. It is defined as the summation of 1 divided by 1 plus the natural logarithm of n, starting from n equals 1 to infinity. This function expands the applications of virtual numbers into infinite series and beyond. So, why should we care about virtual numbers? They simplify exponential and trigonometric functions, redefine power functions like n raised to the power of j, and open new doors to advanced mathematics. They even assign meaning to expressions like the natural logarithm of zero, giving us an entirely fresh perspective on mathematics. Virtual numbers are more than just a concept. They're a gateway to a simpler, more elegant mathematical framework. If this has sparked your curiosity, be sure to like this video, subscribe to channel, and share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, keep exploring, keep innovating.